This is a video recap of Ocracoke Community Thanksgiving 2019. Hey, I'm Ray. And I'm Jill. And this is our road trip to Ocracoke. So our journey begins in Hatteras, at the end of Hatteras Island, waiting to get on the Ocracoke Ferry to Silver Lake. While we were waiting, we saw all of these big dump trucks rolling off the ferry from Ocracoke. RPC contractors have been down there working hard to get all of the roads fixed. As soon as all the trucks were unloaded, then it was our turn to get on the ferry. Okay, so we left uh, the tip of Hatteras Island at what? 4.30. On and the it, dot. On the dot. And it is now 6.53. And we're pulling into the dock in Ocracoke. Wow. So tomorrow we start the big adventure. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, we arrived on Ocracoke last night and headed straight over to the 1718 Brewing Company of Ocracoke, Brewing Ocracoke, and had dinner. And then we went to Bikini Bottom where we stayed last night we got up early this morning after a good night's sleep some early breakfast and some coffee thank goodness and now it's about 9 15 and we're at the Berkeley barn getting ready for Thanksgiving you know in reality a lot of this work had started the night before with groups from the Outer Banks and all over Northeast North Carolina making sure this would be a Thanksgiving dinner Ochre Coke would not soon forget so day of the storm, September 6th, that was when Dorian hit um, early in the morning around 8 a.m. got an incredible amount of water on the island, anywhere between 4 and 8 feet. Um, there's all these century old homes that, like you were saying, that haven't been lifted up. They're like familial homes for years and years that are so low and a lot of people are still recovering even though we're three months out. So there's still a lot of recovery and, and unfortunately it's one of those kind of things like I was saying um, earlier that it's, you know, for a few weeks you get a lot of attention and then it kind of just becomes an unspoken thing and there's just still so much that needs to be done here. In about a week and a few days we're going to be open to visitors again so that puts the seed in a lot of people's minds that everything's fixed, everything's ready to go, but that's not the case, it's just a necessity for our economy and for people to survive to be open again and to get things going, but there are still a lot of people who are out of their homes and or have a, a long way to go, over a year. The island's still on the mend, it was time to turn our attention back to Thanksgiving. This is actual Thanksgiving Day. You can see the final preparations are being put together. There's cornbread. There's stuffing, there's lots of rolls, and inside the Disaster Relief Mobile Kitchen, they're putting some finishing touches on some delicious gravy. So while Gordon and Bruce finished up in the kitchen, we went out to take a look at the turkeys on the grill. Man, a lot of turkeys and a lot of oysters, thanks to John Tice. So before the residents of Ocracoke Island could arrive at the Berkeley Barn for their Thanksgiving dinner, the group got together and packed up to-go boxes. These boxes would be delivered to the ferry docks. For everyone that couldn't make it in for the Thanksgiving dinner, one would be delivered personally to them. You know what the Jill says. She says presentation is everything. And if that's the case, the Berkeley Barn was everything. This was ready for Thanksgiving dinner for the masses. The finishing touches were put on the place settings. Everybody was set and ready to serve. Now all we needed was to check and make final preparations and then open the doors. Check out this spread. Man, that was a lot of food. And there were so many people. Everybody seemed to be enjoying themselves and having a great time. It was our pleasure to be just a small part of this big event. And we got this nice note left behind on the table that says, the food has been so good, I don't know how I could have missed this. Thank you everyone for putting this together. 
Somewhere along the way, Jill and I managed to anger the kitchen gods and we pulled KP duty. We washed a lot of dishes. Well, we didn't wash them alone. We had plenty of help. These photos were taken at the end of the day. It's a group of very tired, but very thankful volunteers. So three months later, we're still Ochre Coast.